Hi, we're the Dirt Birds. Welcome to Science Week. And it's very exciting because it's the 25th anniversary of Science Week. 25 years ago, I can't believe it. I remember my first Science Week. Do you? Yeah, 25 years ago. <laughs> no, I would have been only two or three. Yeah, right. Anyway, science is having a huge impact on our lives, especially now and definitely into the future. So today we're going to be looking at technology, the environment and Krispy Kreme donuts. Why is there an image of a Krispy Kreme donut on the screen? Sorry, there? yeah. That's yeah. all you were in charge of was the images. I couldn't help it. I was in there. I took a photo of the donut I was about to eat and it got mixed up with it. Sorry. Thanks to technology, we can all work from home. And I personally love it because you don't have to make the same effort for a Zoom meeting as you have to do for a real meeting. It's great. Yeah, except when you're wearing pink fluffy shorts with emojis all over them and you get up to make a cup of coffee and everyone sees yeah, you. Yeah, I told you, Sue, that wasn't an important meeting. It was a parent-teacher meeting. The principal totally understood. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <laughs> because we can work from home, it means we don't have to live in the city anymore. So we can literally work from anywhere, like Greenland or Hull. Hawaii or the North Pole. Really? I mean, the Wi-Fi isn't very good in the North Pole, so yeah, it's not great in my house either. Have you seen me hanging out the window trying to get a signal? Yeah. Anyway, we went out and about to talk to people about how they felt about working from home. Oh, I absolutely love working from home. Oh, when I think about that commute, I used to just sit in a train for two hours staring at my phone. And I have those two hours back. And what do you do in those two hours now? Oh, I just sit in the sitting room and stare at my phone. Yeah, I'm working from home full time now and it's going great. It's perfect. Now, if I had one little gripe, it'd be um, I wouldn't mind a slightly bigger office space, but it's grand. From science, we're learning a lot of new information about our gut health. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, what was that noise? Sorry, that's my tummy rumbling. It's, uh, I forgot to have breakfast. Anyway, we're learning about the nutritious food that we should be eating and also cooking from home. Oh yes, I eat very healthy. Should I grow it all myself? It's all pure organic food. Look at it there. That's me potatoes, that's me turnip, and that's the Chinese. I can't be eating organic every day now. Give me a break. Do I cook from home? Oh God, yeah, I do. Yeah, all the time. But you know what, ladies? Don't be intimidated. Do you know what I mean? That's what I say. Uh, the key is just to keep it simple, simple, simple. And what are you cooking today? Oh, today I'm doing a fettuccine mushroom and marsala mascarpone uh, dish with a little side order of Calabrian lasagna with a truffle shaving, followed by a meringue gelato cake with a rum chocolate sauce. Mm. Yeah, just, just easy. Advances in science is already changing how we travel and it's going to continue to change it into the future. I myself am really excited about the self-driving cars. See, I don't get that. I mean, if you're not driving, what are you doing? Your makeup, your hair, painting your toenails. But you do that anyway in the car. Yeah, but it's like the traffic lights, you know, and it's always kind of a rush job, so... Oh, I've really kept up with technology. Oh my God, yeah, my whole house is smart. Um, I've got a smart kettle. Kettle on. Just make me a cup of tea there now. And this is my latest purchase. It's a smart hoover. I've got a computer to do absolutely everything I want in this house. Oh, and have you got a smart window cleaner? No. He does that, my husband. <laughs> That's so smart. Technology is changing all the time. And this can be difficult to keep up with, especially for some of our older people. So how do I put that onto my Instagram account? Or for some of our middle-aged people? Oh yeah, I mean, technology is changing all the time and it can be quite difficult for, you know, people my age to kind of keep up with this yoke here. Oh my God, this is the brand new Apple phone. Look at this baby. I can tell you what, this is powered, right, by Apple's new A13 Bionic chip. It's also got a HD retina display and a fingerprint oleophobic coating. It's some baby, I can tell you. Oh, sorry, excuse me now. I'm going to have to take a selfie for my three and a half million followers on Insta. Because of technology and the fact that we're working more from home, it's given us loads more time to go out and about with nature. And I loved every second of that. Oh, well, did you, Shanae? Yes, yes, I did. Yeah. What sort of outdoor activities did you do? Well, I... Yeah, you didn't do anything, did you? No, no. Well, I walked, sure, to the shop, yeah, for biscuits. Anyway, we went out and about and talked to other people about their relationship with nature and how it's changed. 
Well, so I went mad during the pandemic with the garden. No, could I just nip you and put there my garden and eat your heart out? Oh my God, I've got my petunias over here, my geraniums over there, my begonias over here. I have a bench there made out of pallets and a rockery with a big water sticking out the top of it like that. Oh, these castles, it's lovely, isn't it? Maybe I can't stay open it for longer than two minutes. I would say since the whole pandemic, arrived i'm more aware of nature right. do you know what i mean oh yeah and i think everyone is yeah like i noticed in the parks and all that that i would walk my dog in uh they've let the grass grow quite long oh, and uh, and they do that to attract bees and butterflies to the place oh. apparently we're all supposed to be doing it you know so what you do for your garden all them weeds and everything the way you let it like grow out yeah yeah to attract the bees yeah very yeah. Pretty, yeah, totally deliberate. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, come here to me. It's not the way nature came back into the cities, is it? Oh, it is, you know, yeah. With the boards and all. Come yeah. here, I was in town one day and there was ducks looking at me as if to say, get out, we own this place now. Really? I swear to God, it was unreal. It was a fox, right, on Brampton Street, just standing there, right, still staring, like in shock. Why? Because it's all you and you were a human? No, he was looking in the window around Thomas at the price of everything. Oh, well, I can't believe it. Yeah. Ridiculous, aren't you? Yeah. That's all from us, Sturpers. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to log on to scienceweek.ie for all the exciting events. And remember, science is really the future. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, I don't know if you've seen the smart mops. What? Smart mops. What? Actual robots that go around the place cleaning your floor. Your whole floor? Your whole floor. It's incredible. I can't <laughs> believe it. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs>